Yo, I upgraded from a regular hard disk drive to this crucial MX300. Now, this drive was a uh, 250, I'm sorry, 275 gigabyte drive. And that retailed for $69.99, as you can see. So that was upgrading my one of my old laptops from hard disk drive to SSD. Now, for this next one, this is a... Um, gaming this is one you use for gaming right here core i7 geforce gt 650m now there's newer processors on the market the thing about it is this one will get a lot of gaming done really well like everybody always asks oh uh can it play minecraft and it can it play some of those games like that but yeah in order for you to really get that kind of uh gaming power a lot of people don't seem to understand that you cannot buy these cheap ass uh, non Intel core laptops from Walmart. If you pay two or three hundred dollars, you could forget it. If you want some real gaming, this is what you got to get. You either got to get the Core i7 or you got to get a very, very high end Core i5. I don't do Core i5, I only do Core i7. I upgraded my desktop very recently to a um, Core i7 700, well, I'm seven, Core i7 7700K. And that's probably the best processor you can get on the market right now. It's got a Titan X 12 gigabyte video card, which basically can play any game in 4K that there is on the market. And then I got 64 gigabytes DDR RAM. So once again, you know I love Hewlett Packard. So this is a Hewlett Packard HP NV right here. But this computer right here was a Hewlett Packard uh, Pavilion. So as you can see, this was... Um, this was the 275 gigabyte hard drive, but this brand new one that I just got from Micro Center is a 750 gigabyte. Now it's $169.99, and on the website, if you go to the Micro Center website, they will not show you exactly what the price is for some reason. They try to hide the price. So you actually have to have them email you to let you know what the price is. Now, if you've never cloned a hard drive before, or if you've never, uh, what is it called? If you've never cloned a hard drive before, or you've never, um, installed a hard drive before one thing you also might want to get is this it's called the usb 3.0 to 2.5 sata adapter and it comes with its own case if you purchase one of these the case that it comes with will basically uh, allow you if you want to use your hard drive this is what it looks like when you because i have two of them um if you cut if you get it you can pop any 2.5 hard disk drive right up in there and when you put it in there this will act like a protective case and this right here is the USB 3.0 adapter and this can go USB 3.0 and plug into your computer for high gigabit like 5 gigabit per second transfer speeds so um basically I'm as I, I think I mentioned before like I'm transferring my channel I'm doing a lot of gaming now I'm doing an Elgato um, so I wanted to have a high-end SSD drive just so I could put my gaming videos on with the Elgato. And um, the reason why I like Crucial is because the price is relatively good. And thus far, performance has been pretty so standard and solid. And um, I'm liking it. And um, I know there's a lot of people who look online to find reviews about whether or not they should trust Crucial's MX300 model or if they should go and spend the money on a Samsung. But... Um, Crucial thus far, I mean, I haven't seen much of a difference between the Crucial and my Samsung. So this is the Micro Center website, or web page, I should say, that's in the paper. 525 gigabytes is $139.99. That's on sale, $10 down. Then you also got the 275 gigabyte, which is the one I just showed you. That's a $90 one. And, uh, oh, and, uh, you know, and I try to always tell people, please, you know, if you're going to spend some money, just get, just do, the, do it right. Um... Instead of having somebody build you a computer, you can go and buy this stuff yourself. And if they have it already pre-built, look at this. The Core i7-7700K that I got, $329 marked down from $379. See, this is why I shop at Micro Center. When you shop at Micro Center, um, I like Micro Center. They have great prices. They have very good prices. What I was going to show you was the other hard drives that were on sale. I was going to just try to show you that real quick. Um, I think that's in the other paper because when they have I don't know if you have a micro center near you But you really ought to check them before you buy your next computer. I'm really loving their prices I really like their service and they've got you know good uh, video cards and everything But this is where they have their uh, drives 
And then, as you'll notice, they have the Crucials right next to the new, um, you know, the Samsungs. And then Western Digital has their new Blue Series to compete with Samsung. And uh, the prices are about the same. It's like they almost try to match prices. But um, the one that I got was an NV... ME for a different computer, but the uh, prices are pretty reasonable. But one thing you will notice is that they do not have this drive that I just bought. They don't have it here. And for some reason, they force you to go look it up by sending in your email. But, um, you know, that's just what it is. And then, of course, as you know, I back up all my stuff to a MyCloud mirror. And uh, I bought that a while ago. And that's how I back up the majority of my files on the Internet so that I have access to them wherever I am. But um, so far, I've been very impressed with Western Digital. I've been very impressed with Samsung, and I definitely like Crucial. Um, some people don't like Seagate that much because they say that the hard drives have a high failure rate. Thus far, I've been very satisfied with um, my purchases. As you can see, I've gotten the uh, MX300 installed. And as you can see, this uh, laptop has 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM here. And that's pretty much the best you can pretty much get for a Windows 10 laptop to play video games. And the one thing I'd like to say is I'm very disappointed with um, Apple for making the new MacBook Pro without an upgrade to 32 and a touchscreen, considering that damn thing is $2,800. I think they're out of their minds. So, um, you know, I stick with Hewlett Packard, and frankly, I think the uh, Spectre is a better laptop than the uh, MacBook Pro. And usually I don't talk bad on their products until they deserve it but they absolutely deserve to have me talk bad on their products uh, now. as you can see i'm uh, copying files using my lenovo n22 getting the files from one place to another basically just backing them up and um, i'm reinstalling windows 10 on this uh, core i7 system it's really not that difficult it's like basically if you've had any expert if you had any like expertise or experience installing uh, Windows on a computer, it's actually a pretty simple, straightforward process. I basically um, use a flash drive to do it. It can take anywhere between one and three hours. I mean, if you have a USB 3.0 flash drive, that actually helps the whole process go a lot faster. Other than that, it could take a little while. Installation from um, absolutely nothing on the 750 gigabyte hard drive to having Windows 10 only took about 25 minutes. I'm actually amazed. I guess it's because everything was USB 3.0 and you're dealing with the SSD drive. One second. Xbox mute. Yeah, I gotta mute that goddamn liberal trash. So anyway, um, right away, um, I'm doing the latest Windows update and everything is working absolutely perfectly. So this is 750 gigabytes. Um, this hard drive, just to let you know, oh wait, um, this hard drive came with 698 gigabytes actually usable because as you know um, after a hard drive is formatted and everything there's a certain portion that's like not usable or whatever but um the you know the formatted you know size may vary that's what they always write on the box so when you buy a one terabyte drive it's never actually one terabyte when i bought my four terabyte it wasn't a full four terabytes you know how that is i i really wish we could get some proof in advertising where when i buy a four terabyte drive it has four goddamn terabytes on it you know but that's too much to ask because i'm an american and our jobs are in freaking asia that's 74 percent on downloads i just want to show you i've always told people like when i know people i tell them don't have people build you computers go to the store buy a good name brand that you can actually trust and there's a simple reason i like hp so much as you've seen pretty much all my equipment is hp that isn't um apple but anyway um they have a great website they've got great service and the thing about it is if you buy computers like this that are already pre-built and they come with good components when those computers sit on the shelf for a while because nobody's buying them and they start slashing prices you win because you get top-notch equipment and you get, um, you know, really good prices because they basically deal in volume. So just to let you see what their pricing is, if you've never shopped there before, you can get an i7-6700 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's more than enough to play pretty much any of these games. And it comes with a one terabyte regular hard drive, but you can always get an SSD later. And that's only $749. And... Um, Let's go over a little bit. You can see that for $1,300, they give you a top or higher end graphics card. It's not the top end. The top end is the 1080. But here you got the 1070. 
And this takes a lot of guesswork out of it because when you buy it like this, you pretty much already know that when you, you know, go to certain stores, it's like they pretty much have things lined out according to price and you know that you're jumping up to a higher end device. So $12.99 gets you a 1080 or no, I'm sorry, 1070. And right next to that, if you pay $1,600, which was marked down from 1999, you get the 6700K and you get two terabyte hard drive. And then you get the 1080, which is pretty much the best video card you can get that's not the Titan X, but the Titan X by itself is $1,000. So, um, you know, just, you know, look at their store website. They build computers if you really want one built. But me personally, I prefer buying my computers like this. And uh, that's just how I do it, because when you buy it like this, you know, pre-built off the shelf and you, you know, if you're willing to spend enough money, you get pretty high end components. And all you have to do is, you know, add anything you want to add. And, you know, you've got a really good deal. They also have Exeon servers and, um, you know, they have the all in ones and then they've got the MSI and they've got my my real favorite is Alienware. But I wasn't willing to spend the money on uh, Alienware because what I wanted was the tetrahedron tower but they don't sell the tower separate so i'm gonna wait until those drop in price and i'm gonna buy one and then i'll just transfer all my equipment over to that because i really like that tetrahedron tower the r2 i believe it's called the r2 area 51 so once the hard drive installation has gone well you have to obviously upgrade your drivers for your video card this computer came with the uh, beats audio as you can see so um, I also have to go to the Beats Audio site so I can upgrade the drivers for the sound card. 